you can't take the loan and say, oh, I want to buy some capital equipment. You know, there's a great piece of machinery. I want to buy and purchase that. You can, you can purchase it, but then that portion of your loan is not going to be forgivable. You're going to have to pay it back. That's correct. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. All right. So welcome. Uh, thanks for tuning into this video. Just wanted to uh, take this opportunity and introduce Stefan uh, Goldsmith of iAccounting Solutions. Um, obviously, this is a huge topic, so I thank you so much for, for taking the time out. I know you're super busy, but I know myself and a lot of my colleagues, other business owners, we're hearing so much about um, this government stimulus package because of the coronavirus uh, situation we're in. So I know you and I had a quick talk last week, and I thought, wow, you definitely answered a lot of my questions. I'm hearing all this news and uh, wanted to just bring you on and just do a little quick video and hear directly from an expert, kind of answer some questions out there. So uh, maybe if you want to start off, Stefan, introduce yourself real quick, your company, and uh, just jump right into it. Yeah, thanks, Adrian. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, so I'm Stefan Goldsmith, the owner of iAccounting Solutions. We've been in business for 10 years. Um, and before the COVID-19 stuff hit, <laughs> we were a, a, a traditional accounting firm. Um, that we did, you know, tax accounting work and uh, tax planning and, some, and and payroll and other types of ancillary services. Uh, but since COVID-19, we've, we've pivoted and tried to help small businesses understand what's out there, what's available, and help them figure out the best way forward um, through all this. Because uh, if you're if you're like me and, and check the news every day, it's, there's just so much out there, right? So. Right. We've worked really hard at staying in front of this and, you know, I've, I've turned, you know, it is tax season right now and I'm usually doing tax returns, but I've, I've pivoted away from that for now. And that's been about 95% of my time, um, keeping up on what's going on with the, the loans from the SBA and also the CARES Act and trying to figure out what's best for, for my clients and other businesses coming in who need help. So yeah, it's, it's huge right now. So this is a great time to, to discuss this. Yeah. Well, I guess the good news is at least the tax deadline has been pushed back. So that gives you and everybody else a little bit of breathing room and really time to focus on yep. this. So. Yep. 100%. Uh, yeah. So, so tell us about this. I mean, give, uh, give us the kind of 30,000 foot level view and then let's dive into some of the, the details here of how, yeah. how this can help businesses. Yeah, sure. I mean, there's, there's basically three main things on the table, right? You have the SBA loan or it's called the EIDL, right? Which is commonly known. Um, and it's all, there's also a, um, there's also a forgivable payroll loan. It's called the payroll protection program. Um, and there's also the CARES Act, which has some payroll provisions in it for payroll tax credits. And so if you think about it in three separate categories, right? There's kind of three separate products and three separate avenues of to go to get some help, right? For small business. And you look on, I have a, a slide up now that shows a brief summary about what, what all that entails together, right? And I'll kind of go into each one in greater detail, but a lot of small business owners are really looking at these loans, the payroll forgivable loans, and also the, the IDL loan, which is the emergency loan from the SBA to help bolster their cash flow and, and, to, and to really help them keep, really keep their doors open, right? And that's what we're looking at, right? Like it, this could mean, this could mean, the business keeps your doors open or not, right? And so time is of the essence to take advantage of these. But also, also with that being said, this is the government. And so the government is not the most efficient at rolling out new programs. And so they're telling us one thing, and then the next day they're telling us another thing, and the next day they're telling us another thing. And so it's constantly changing and morphing as they figure out what to do. And then it's trickling down to us. And so it's pretty important to be and stay in contact with a professional or someone like myself, or if you have an accountant or someone you're working with, or even yourself, you want to watch the news and stay on top of it, you can do that too. But just following what's going on, what's new um, with, with all this stuff. Right. Um, right. So yeah, and, there's, there's a lot there. Yeah. Go ahead. And there's also, I know that from my personal experiences that we have the federal government to deal with, but there's also, our local, a lot of this is driving through the banks too, right? Uh, I know some banks are a little bit ahead of the curve. Some others, you know, I know I think last Friday they officially opened up the application for, uh, you know, the CARE Act or the, the payroll uh, loan. And then I know certain banks like my own still are kind of behind on the application process. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, the government said April 3rd, we're ready to go, right? But 
because they're administering this this payroll protection program or this forgivable loan for payroll through the banks, not every bank is ready, right? I mean, you can imagine that, you know, you have, you know, 30 million small business owners running to the banks trying to apply for this, right? And they're they're probably pretty overwhelmed. I haven't talked to bankers since like last Friday, but uh, the, the, the idea, the, the feeling I get from the banks and the bankers that I have talked with are, uh, we're just taking it as it comes and we're just trying to figure, we're trying to figure out how we go, right? And this is huge for banks because banks have rules to follow and this is, and they're not used to moving so fast, neither is the government, right? So you're right, like some banks, I think Bank of America was open that last Friday. They're the first like major banks to start accepting applications. I think uh, Chase is supposed to be today at some point in time. Um, a lot of those big big banks are like it's supposed to be today at some point in time. Some of the smaller banks can move a little faster. So if you bank with like a community bank or maybe even a credit union, or um, there's also other companies like PayPal, QuickBooks Online. They're trying to they're trying to offer this as a um, as a feature for their clients as well. But there's also another hoop they have to jump through as well. But being a non-bank, they have to apply for the um, the ability to be able to offer these loans since they're a non-bank already. So there's lots of options out there, <laughs> and what's funny is that time time is of the essence because the amount of funds that are available is finite; it's not unlimited. But <laughs> no one can apply. Not, there's a lot of people that can't apply for them yet, right? Even though it's open, right? So it's very frustrating for a lot of business owners. Okay. So can you run run us through? Uh, yeah. The, yeah. The sure. Program? So let's talk about the payroll protection program. It's got many low, it's got many names, right? PPP, 7A, or forgivable loan. A lot of people know it like this, right? This loan is really meant to have, meant to be like just a, 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 a quick burst of capital into small businesses so they can pay payroll, rent utilities, or mortgage interest to basically keep the doors open, right? And so, you know, the idea behind this is that, you know, you take your average payroll over a certain amount of time, depending on how much, how long you've been in business. And they give you two and a half months of uh, payroll to be able to float you through the next basically two and a half months. Um, and as long as you spend it on payroll or these things like payroll rent, mortgage utilities, mortgage interest, it turns into a forgivable loan and converts into basically a grant, right? That's not taxable to you, right? And so if you need the help, it's a really great deal for small businesses. We just need the extra the money to make sure they can keep the doors open, keep paying employees. The idea behind this is the government wants people to still employ, keep people employed, right? Um, you know, we've had a record, I think, a record, all-time record in the U.S. of unemployment uh, applications, and it's 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 unprecedented, right? And so the government's trying to slow this down, right, with with the payroll protection program, right? Um, and what's great about this is that even though if you get approved for this, and this is this is the one that gets that you apply for the bank, but if you get approved for this, you know, the, it's it's basically free money as long as you pay for pay uh, payroll or rent or utilities out of it, right? So it's really a great deal for small businesses. So so the way I interpret that, Stefan, is really what this is designed for is obviously if your business is going through some challenges, but you may start thinking right now okay, we, we've had a big hit in sales. We're not sure what's going to happen. Maybe you're thinking of slimming down on your, your employment, whether you're going to lay people off or just send people home, you know, unpaid leave. Um, obviously, I know there's programs, other programs for that, but this is one that you can take advantage of. So you know what, at least for the next two and a half months, I know I can, I have funds to pay my people. Right. I mean, that, that's, yeah. that's the way I interpret it is, is using that loan for it. Yeah. hundred percent, hundred percent. And if you're, so if you're a business, you're thinking about laying some people off, um, this would be a, definitely a great option. Um, and even if you're, you're not thinking about laying people off, it's still there. Um, so, I mean, if you're unsure or just not sure, and, and during this time we're no one's really sure what's going to happen. Right. And so this program is there. Um, the application process is fairly straightforward, right? We've applied, We've helped three businesses so far apply for this directly with their banks, and it's not, it's, it's actually a pretty painless uh, process. Um, the only part that's a little, it's a little hairy is getting the backup and the pay reports together and make sure that's correct. Um, but other than that, this is this is a program that's available for any business, right? That's, that's in business. And so, yeah, anyway, either if you're looking at laying people off or you're just not sure, either way, 
I would definitely apply for this. So it's, it's really a no brainer, right? I mean, what, what, uh, what are some of the just basic requirements? So if you fall into certain categories, you know, who should apply for this? Um, really any business that's, that's in business. Um, you had to have been in business by February 15th, 2020 in order to take advantage of this. So any business that was in business before then can apply for this. Um, really, I mean, if you, you can do the you can do like a simple, the simple math and figure out what your average payroll was over the last, let's say 12 months or so, you multiply that by 2.5 and that's your, your, your amount that you hopefully will get from, from the banks, right. For this. And so you can, you can figure out pretty quick whether or not it's worth it for you to apply or not. Really, does it, does it cost you money to apply? No, there's no money. There's no upfront fees. Um, and so I think really the worst case scenario for businesses, is let's say you get this and you don't need it. You pay it back. It's, it's still, it's a, it's a loan you can get that you can pay back or use for payroll. Right. I just don't really see any downsides to this it's not, from what we're hearing right now as of today, Monday, you know, that, there's no, there's no downsides. Is there an employee limit? I think I saw something about 500 employees or less. Yeah. So you have to be a, a qualified small business and there's also, there's a revenue limit and there's also an employee count, right? So you okay. correct. It'd be 500 employees or less. Okay. And any idea, I, I know right now as of April 6th, Monday, the banks are slowly starting to have the application process trickling. So you go to your direct bank, any idea how long it will take for that process to be done where you actually get the funds? So we don't, we're not really sure. And this is the frustrating part about this is that we've had clients and we've had colleagues apply for clients and it, it just depends on how fast the bank moves. Right? So we put an application in last Friday for a client, but the bank held on to it and is going to submit it today because they wouldn't have basically over ducks in a row. They weren't sure how to, how to do all this. Right. And the hard and the reason why there's a lot of so much uncertainty is that you know the government is changing the requirements and evolving the requirements as the program is is up and running, and so like April third hit and you know usually we're okay we we have a set of rules and we can understand what's required, what is included in the calculation of payroll to determine the amount right which you have to put on the application. But last Friday it would said one thing and then another and then today it's another thing, right? So they took one part of it out, right, which had to do with contractors. So um, there's still a lot of uncertainty by the from the banks, and the banks are trying to make cover their tracks and make sure they're doing this right because the banks also get paid for they get paid, I think, a five point um, payment um, fee for in order to administer these loans for small businesses, right? That oh, wow. So, so the bank is, so this is a source of income for the bank as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The bank's doing it. And you know, they do, so they, there is a provision for agents too. agents, let's say like an accountant or an attorney or even anyone really helps anyone to apply. There's also provision to get paid there, but most banks that I've talked to are not, um, they're not sharing that. <laughs> so yeah, it's unfortunate, but yeah, it, it is what it is. Okay. So that, that's one of the programs. It sounds pretty straightforward, right? Yeah, it, it is pretty straightforward, but it, just, it depends on your bank and, and what bank you bank with. Um, some of the banks I've seen are actually just requiring you to fill out a simple form. Some want the form plus your payroll documents right now. Some say fill out the form now, we'll get the documents later. It just really depends on the bank. And right now this is so hot that if you check with your bank, they're going to let you know how to apply. All right, the second loan on the table is the disaster loan, and the disaster loan is a bona fide loan, right? And this is applied through directly through the SBA, through the website. Um, application process is a bit more straightforward because it's handled directly by the SBA. But the, the main points are is you can get the $2 million, right? Um, and, you know, how, where, this, where this could be very valuable to a company is if they don't, maybe they don't qualify for the payroll protection program, or maybe they do. They need additional capital beyond that to pay for operating expenses. Because under this loan, you can pay for basically anything, any other operating expenses besides the payroll and the rent and those types of things, right? And so that's if you can apply for both loans and get both of those and you're, and you're up to, and you're able to get um, basically help on both sides, right? So the payroll and also the, the other operating costs. Um, however, this is a loan, right? So it's not forgivable, okay? Now, the, um, the pro to this loan, though, is that if you need to get a loan, it's pretty cheap. It's only at 3.75% interest. 
So if you need to tap into this instead of maybe like a line of credit or other lending options from like a traditional bank, this could be an option um, that that your company could use, right? And so while this is these doesn't need to be paid back. I kind of call this the secondary option, right? Because the payroll protection program, I think, is a better deal to help with immediate expenses like payroll. To get help with other things, this is the next best option. Um, so the disaster loans are available today, actually. So you can apply for these, like right now, you don't go through any banks. You go directly to the SBA and you apply online. Okay. Um, in addition to the payroll, in addition to the SBA loan, there's the CARES Act as well, which offers all these different things, right? Um, and there's, you know, it, talk, it offers deferral payroll taxes, it offers uh, the, the infamous um, uh, payment, the infamous, um, uh, uh, like okay, I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna get mixed up here. I'm a little more far off because my, my printer here alone. <laughs> Just take a breath, restart. My kids, are, my kids are taking me off. They're printing on different stuff. All right, let's let's start. It. Okay, beyond the SBA loan, there's other key provisions in the CARES Act that you may be able to take advantage of. Um, and I've listed them here, but there's a lot of them here, right? Uh, you can defer up to 100% of your payroll taxes. Um, you do have the stimulus payments, which everyone's heard about, right? And that's part of this CARES Act as well. Okay. Um, there's also provisions for businesses that ran net, net losses in 18, 19, uh, and even before. So you might be able to, so traditionally businesses who ran net losses um, had to carry those forward, right? And there's a provision in this CARES Act that allows companies to go back and amend tax returns uh, to take those losses in previous years, and that could create additional tax refunds for companies. Um, and that's that's actually a pretty, pretty nice little part of this act. Um, you can also get payroll tax credits for employees and also there's also other key provisions that are, are really not in here but there's if someone does get sick with COVID-19 you can actually get a payroll tax credit of like up to two thousand dollars up to for each quarter per employee um, or if they have to take time off work to pay care for someone who has COVID-19 um, there's um, so they're basically expanding on the FMLA Act um, and then um, the last one is you can actually withdraw from retirement accounts penalty free. And the way that works is you can withdraw penalty free and you can either take it as income or you can pay it back as kind of like a loan over the next two or three years. Mm, wow. I hadn't heard about that one. Yeah. So a lot, there's a lot to it. Um, you know, really, you know, we kind of go back to when I was at the beginning of the, of the, of the call, we we're talking about there's three main the pillars i say of of, these, of this act you've got the payroll protection program you've got the sba loan you got the, the cares act right and all three of these can work together but you really need to make sure you understand the ins and outs and i'll say right now there's so much changing right now that um, you just gotta be patient right and um another thing too is you know we may say one thing now or but it could be another thing tomorrow and you know, really, we're probably gonna get this wrong in some form or fashion, right? And helping and getting applied for and doing this, but you just can be patient and roll with it and, and, and just keep track of the changes. And I think it's very key that if you're not working with someone, right? Or if you're not savvy yourself, make sure that you are have someone help you with this because it's, it's huge. There's so many different caveats and it's changing all the time, right? I just almost, I don't know a lot of business owners that can do it on their own. Right. Um, some can. I'm not saying you can't, but there's there's a, a ton of them that can't. Yeah. Well, sometimes it's not. A, it's kind of the business that we're in, right? We're all in service too. It's not a question of can sure. you or can't you. I think there's time, right? Should I be focusing on something else? Um, one, but two, expertise. Uh, you know, one of the things I would imagine is going to happen is, like you said, it's not not picking on the government, but this is such a huge stimulus. I think it's the biggest stimulus. Uh, that are a government stimulus program we've ever had, right? That's unprecedented. Right. We have all these small and uh, medium sized businesses in the United States are going to be flocking to the banks, pushing on the system. You know, one thing I think about is, well, I, if I'm going to apply for this, I want to make sure that I'm not doing something incorrect that pushes me back weeks. And then by then I have to read, you know, I have to fix something and then the funds are out. So um, I definitely yeah. would err on the side of letting an expert do it, especially if I'm going to be getting. Uh, funds to help my business anyhow. Uh, just that's just my take on it. 
Hundred percent. And really, when you think about this, this is this is not like a one month and done type of deal. I mean, this is going to be a multi month. Even the loans, applying for the loans, is probably going to be a two or three month process. I mean, by the time you apply, get the funds, and apply for the for the forgivable part, or you know, the SBA wants to work with you, and they have a, they paired you up with a loan officer, and you have to get them more additional information or or whatever it may be before disbursement. I mean, it, there's there's so much out there we just don't know yet. Um, yeah, so definitely getting support through all this is huge. Uh, what we don't want, and, and I can imagine what every business owner doesn't want, like who really needs this money like now just to keep, the business, keep their doors open, is to apply for it and then have, do something wrong in the application, get a kickback. And, you know, you're working with a loan officer and you're going back and forth and it could be another two weeks. And that two-week time where this, that delay time could mean like either you're laying employees off or you're not, right? So, right. It's really huge. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, hundred percent, right? If, if you're unsure, like definitely work with someone to help you out through this, right? Because not, they're going to get hundred percent right all the time, but you're going to be in much better shape and in a much better position to make sure it's done right the first time, right? As, as opposed to, you know, kind of piecemealing it together, right? Right. Yeah. So, so your suggestion is obviously if you've got a CPA accountant you work with, you know, reach out to them. Hopefully they've reached out to you already, but yeah, hundred percent. I mean, we're, we've, been, we've been sending tons of emails out to clients already, right? We're trying to keep on top of this. So, like, um, you know, we, you know, you know, I want to make an offer like to anyone who who needs help, right? So what we're doing is we're offering like thirty to sixty minute Zoom calls where it's we're basically going through this and we're trying to help business owners figure out what the best way forward is for them, right? And if it makes sense to work together, then we can work together, right? But if not, at least you have some good information and hopefully develop an action plan. Um, and we're doing this just because we, we have the information, right? And so we're hoping to work with you, but if not, that's okay, right? So um, if you like, you know, you know, I think we'll send out a link to where you can schedule some time with me if you like. Happy to run through it with you, talk more in depth about your situation, how it applies to you, and then help you develop a game plan to attack this, right? Because I hate to see small business owners. This, I mean, a lot of so many small business owners work so hard to get where they're at, and now that they're, you know, we hit this all of a sudden. I mean, this can be flushed on the toilet so fast, right? I, and I'd hate to see that just because they understand a few rules. Yeah, no, that's I. I appreciate that. We're all everyone's trying to help right now, right? Any business ran anything we can do to help each other. So this is huge. I'll I'll uh, post this on our YouTube channel. Put a link at the bottom. Um, if you send me a link that uh, they can sure. contact you, sure. um, you know, that's, that's huge again. And that's why when you and I had a chat about this, you know, uh, you, I am a client of yours. So you had this exact call with me and I thought it was definitely eye opening. Again, I'd heard so much, you know, you hear about it through social media, you hear about it on the radio, or, you know, on, on the news um, and you're not quite sure, okay, does this apply to me? How do I apply for it? So you, you definitely boiled it down and made it simple. Um, you know, so one other question I had for you too, with the back to the programs, sure. you've got the payroll program. I think that makes sense for just about every business, right? Um, like you said, there's the big unknown, you know, we've, we've had some uh, setbacks already and it's only been what a month and a half into this thing. And, and the scary thing is we don't know when this is going to end, right? I'm, I'm pretty optimistic that it's going to end soon, but we don't know for certain. So I think that that's yeah. definitely something to take care of. Um, but you know, myself and a lot of colleagues I talked to, we're not really big on taking loans if we don't have to. Maybe, it, you know, you have a business and you've never taken out loans. You've self-financed, you've saved, you've got cash. Um, you know, is it worth applying for the disaster loan? I mean, what's kind of your, your, your take on that? Is, is it, you know, and, yeah. and, what's the, and what's the payback period too? I mean, that's, that's a big part of it. Yeah, I mean, there's, um, so, I mean, the payback terms can be 7, 15, 3, even 30 years, depending on the amount. So they're pretty long. I mean, here's my take on the loan. You know, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it, right? So even if you're not used to needing loans or you're against them for some reason or another, right? I would probably still apply for it because even if you don't need it and there's no prepayment penalties, so let's say the worst case scenario is you do get approved for it, you get it and you don't need it. Well, if you don't need it, you can just pay it back, right? I mean. And the interest rate is so cheap, it's 3.75%, really cheap money. I mean, the, at the most, you're gonna be out, maybe you have some months of interest, right? So, I mean, I think that's pretty, I think that's a pretty low price to pay so that 
you can have a little bit of peace of mind and need it if you do need it. Um, so really, I'm, I'm, I'm usually advising small business owners, like giving that information. They can make the decision for themselves, but I really am pushing business owners to like, look, just apply for it. If you don't, if you get it, you've got it. If you don't need it, then it's payback later if you don't need it, right? Yeah, well, that's, hopefully that's the case, right? Uh, businesses apply for this. They get the help they need right now. Um, and then by summer, this blows over, the economy picks back up and we can uh, not worry about this. That's what I'm hoping for. But um, yeah, again, Stefan, I appreciate you taking the time. I know we're, we're pushing that 30 minute mark um, and uh, I'm, I'm sure you're busy. We are too, but uh, thanks so much for sharing. I mean, that definitely helps me out. I hope it helps anybody that's viewing this video out um, and send me out that contact information. I'll put it in the description below. Is there anything else you want to close with? You bet. No, happy to do it. And just again, you know, I, I, what, what kind of, let me give it, there's so much negativity going on right now with in the world and the economy and health. I just want to maybe add a few, two cents of positivity. Sure. Hopefully that it, it goes somewhere. It makes a difference or impacts with you, but like, you know, we're going to get through this, right? I mean, the economy is tanking. Yeah. But you know, there are things we can do and pivot and try and do to make it through it. I'm, I'm fully expecting, some business to shut down, but I'm full expecting a lot of business to make it as well. So, you know, if we work together, I you know, put our heads together, one head, you know, two heads is better than one. Um, I really feel like that we can make it and get through this. And so um, just keep your heads up and let's push forward, right? Be positive. If you approach it with a positive attitude, we're going to find ways to get through it. I, I agree. Well said. And working together and sharing information, I think at this point, uh, is huge you know for, for our business it's been helping as many people as possible working from home that was a huge transition yeah um, super stressful uh you know all of everyone on our team and we ourselves and i'm working from home we've got to shut down our office uh thankfully we work from home on a regular basis so it wasn't too big of a shift but still you know it's different um, but trying to help thousands of people work from home that never did before um, we're starting to see that wave calm down most people have already transitioned but you know, believe it or not, there's still a lot of companies that still haven't done it yet. So, um, yeah. but yeah, I agree with you, you know, just sharing information, whatever your expertise is, whether it's IT, whether it's finances and, and accounting, um, get out there and share with other businesses, help each other. Uh, anything you can do uh, is, is going to help us as an economy. And, and I'm, I'm confident, you know, we'll bounce back once we get through this. Uh, hopefully people will be confident and go out and and start enjoying themselves uh, after we've been cooped up for for months in our home oh yeah yeah 100 percent. so but thanks again stefan uh, appreciate you. it take care and i'll, I'll talk to you soon and thanks for everyone of you watching this thanks for watching hope you uh, got something out of it